Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be sharing our experiences with setting up and using S2 inside my tent. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to create S2 jack in the tent, and now I will delve into the installation and usage process. Let's dive right in. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to create a stool jack in the tank, providing a convenient exit point for the stool pipe. Today, I will focus on the actual insulation and usage of the stool within the tent. As we go through the insulation process, I will highlight the key considerations to ensure a safe and efficient setup inside the tent. Safety always comes first, especially when dealing with heating elements in confined spaces. One crucial aspect is the proper secure the flue. This step is vital for the safe operation of the stool inside the tent, addressing potential risk that may arise if not executed correctly. I want to address an issue we encountered with the adhesive of the stool jack we installed in the previous video. Due to poor adhesive quality, the fire resistant fabric around the stool jack came loose with the heat. It's essential to be prepared for such situation when camping. This situation can happen, and it's crucial to be equipped with the right tools to handle them. Being prepared for adhesive challenges or other unexpected situations is part of the camping journey. Now you know the importance of quality adhesive and having the right tools at your disposal. If you have encountered similar situations or have additional tips, feel free to share them in the comments below. If you have ever wished to distribute this tools heat more efficiently, well, here is the solution, using a temperature operated fan. If you are wondering where to get your hands on such a fan, don't worry, you can find similar fans in the video description below. Using a stool inside the tent comes with numerous advantages, including heating water, brewing tea, making coffee, and roasting chestnuts. For those concerned about the effectiveness of the stool or not, I will assure you that the stool does an excellent job of warming up the tent's interior, providing a cozy retreat from the cold. In our camping adventures, we make a conscious decision not to keep the stool burning while we sleep. Why? Because the risk of the tent catching fire is a real concern. Picture this. A night with heavy snowfall, our tent, burdened by the weight of the accumulated snow, couldn't view the load, and it's collapsed. As the tent gave way to the heavy snow, the stool jack unfortunately was not spared. The collapse led to the displacement of the stool jack from its original position. Now, here is where the danger lies. Had the stool been burning during this incident, the consequences could have been severe, with the potential for the tent to catch fire. This experience taught us a valuable lesson. Burning the stool overnight in snowy conditions poses a significant risk. For our next camping venture, 
we will prioritize safety by not only avoiding overnight burning, but also reinforcing this two-jack setup to withstand external pressures. Share your experiences in the comments below. And let's keep our camping adventures both warm and safe. Until next time, happy camping!